Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a first impressions video. So today's product is going to be Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. Basically a foundation and concealer all in one and it claims to be a corrector as well. And it is a natural matte finish, uh, medium to full coverage, and it's 100% allergy tested and fragrance free. So let's jump right into it. First thing I'm gonna do is Move my hair out of the way. Don't mind me looking kind of silly with the bows. I'm going to start by prepping my skin because I always prime my face before I use any foundation or complexion makeup. I'm using the Professional Benefit. A little quick memo of what the product claims. It says this lightweight moisturizing foundation concealer provides full coverage without clogging pores. This is a 12 hour wear foundation. Breathable formula is ideal for very dry to combination oily skin types, so almost a full range of skin types. Get lasting coverage and give skin a perfecting look that stays put even through sweat and humidity. So it says that prevents sweat and it works through humidity, so that's perfect for anyone who's in the humid weather. Um, let's try this out and see. So I'm going to use my handy dandy Sephora flat top brush. This one is the buffing brush. It's just like a flat straight top. Um, this is the brush I've been using lately so I'm just going to use this anyway. So once you open the package, it's a big dome foot. So it's, it's really, giant. really big. And then I'm just going to apply this by dotting. So what I'm going to do is apply a good layer all over my face first to ev even out everything. And then I'll use a little bit more for the areas I want to conceal if I need it. Since it says that's what it does. Let's go ahead and do that. So far, once I buff it in, it does feel a little bit thicker consistency. Um, a little bit more... I want to say creamier. It's not really fluid like. So, definitely more heavy coverage if you want it to be. My main concerns are just a little bit of scarring I have on my cheeks, a little redness around the nose, and some under eye circles. And I am combo oily skin, so my T zone tends to be a little bit more shinier throughout the day. So let's see how this goes and if it holds up throughout the day as well. So, so far, it looks A-OK, -okay, I think. Okay, so it definitely evened out my skin pretty good. I want to say there is still some spots that need to be concealed. My dark circles right here needs a little bit more coverage along here under my eyeshadow. Um, I still have a little bit of blemish peeping through. A little bit of redness on my chin still. Um, I have this scar right here that I want to cover up more. Um, a little bit of a blemish near my brow over here. So I'm going to dot a little bit more just in those spots. Okay, I'm going to use the same brush still, and I'm just going to speckle it on to give it more of a fuller coverage. So far I'm pretty impressed with the coverage. Um, personally, I like foundations that don't feel like foundations, um, but this time I'll give it an exception because it technically is a concealer and foundation, so I'm not surprised I might feel like foundation on the skin. It definitely covers really well once you apply another layer. So far so good. It covered up that blemish, that scarring, I'm sorry, the, the scarring I had right over here fairly nicely. Um, my chin is covered up now and then that's red right here. 
and then the blemish near my eyebrow is pre pretty much gone. Um, it's just the texture of this blemish right here on my cheek, which is I'm okay with because you can't do anything about that. But um, the, it definitely covered the redness of that blemish, so I'm glad. Um, the color I got is in 6.5 Buttermilk. I'm more NC25, NC30 in the summer if I get really tan, but I'm usually NC25. Um, as for Color IQ at Sephora, I'm 2Y06 or 3Y06, whichever one. So it fits my skin pretty good, I would say, the color. It feels not really that sticky, but it does have a little bit of a tack to it. I, I like to be smooth completely, so I will put a translucent powder just to set it completely since I am more combo oily. If you are drier skin, I don't think you would need at all a powder. You might also want to use a hydrating primer just to prep the skin beforehand just in case of anything you want to keep it hydrated. So I'll check back in with you guys within several hours and see how that goes, if it's still on and whatnot. I'm just going to put on a translucent powder. So I lied. I threw on some blush as well and some lip gloss with a little bit of a color. Um, but yeah, so I will check back in and it's currently 11.47 in the morning. So I will check back in in a couple of hours. So it is currently... 8:24 p.m. I wore this look all day now. The foundation, um, everything. My energy is a little low. Like nighttime already. Time for me to go eat dinner, whatnot. Take off this face soon. So I wore this all day. I ran errands. So there was wind. There was a little bit of humidity. Not too much. Kind of muggy. Um, we had a couple of a little bit of like sprinkle so my face got a little wet whatever it is but I want to say it held off pretty good like it held up really well I have a little bit of a shine on the cheeks and whatnot not a lot surprisingly my t-zone still holding intact fairly good but then again it's not hot today so I can't really claim on saying what's going on with that usually I do get really really shiny in the t-zone and the chin um, but it didn't because it's not hot today and I just have a little bit of a shine on the cheeks, which is I'm fine with because I can just blot that with a little bit of translucent powder again and it should be a-okay. And it feels alright. It feels a little bit tacky now. Um, at first it was really smooth after I set with the powder, but it's just a little bit tacky, not too much, just in the areas I'm shiny. But yeah, I would give this as actually, I would give this a thumbs up for trying out. Like it, it feels good. It feels amazing on the skin throughout the day after you set with a translucent powder if you're oily combo skin like me. Um, it is buildable full coverage for sure because I'm not used to wearing like such good coverage every day on a daily basis just for going to work and going out on special occasions. But I want to say everything held up really well. What do you guys think? It looks good I want to say. All I did was just put on some blush too, that's it. I didn't put no contour, no highlight, none of that. It's all my natural shiny dewiness of my grease. Held up for a good 8 hours. It claims to hold up for 12 hours. So, I I mean, at 8 hours, usually that's the average amount when people go to work. So I would say, go on and give it a try. It is more for, in case you are sensitive skin too, that will work out for you. Especially, since it is um, allergy tested and fragrance free. This foundation retails for $27. Um, you can get it at Sephora. So it's actually not bad for $27 bucks for full coverage foundation um, slash concealer. So if anything, if you guys like to highlight your conceal under eye part, you can get a, what, a shade or two lighter than your foundation shade and get two because honestly, what well, that's like $50 some dollars for two total. Um, that's basically averaged out to one foundation from another brand, to be honest, for a luxurious brand like Kat Von D, whatever it is. So, good deal for the price. Um, you can also, like I said, get one that's lighter for concealing and get one that's your color for your face for foundation, since it is for both. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.